This week in the galley, we're in Cerritos, California at Pier 76 Fish Grill. Hey, Chris. Dan, pleasure to have you. Chris is the owner, and he's inviting us down. He's a big fisherman, too. And uh, what do you have in store for us today? Today, we're going to do a fish taco, but not just any fish taco, a smoked fish taco. All right, so the fish has already been smoked. Fish is smoked. You now, have a little bit of seasoning on it? Yes, we do, with just a little bit of herbs, and I lightly toss it in a lemon aioli. At home, you can do this under your broiler. So you put it on the broiler setting where the temperature is, the heat is coming from the top. the top. You know, I think some ovens, old ovens, you put it down on the bottom of the oven, right? where it kind of, And that's gonna be the most important part, and we'll see after about four minutes that it's really gonna create a nice golden brownness. So we'll go ahead and place this up here. I use a corn tortilla. Of course, you can use any corn tortilla, but I, the flavor of the corn tortilla is better. I like to... A lot here. less calories. Yeah. No flour. Yeah, exactly. So That's we'll do that. Purple. We're just going to place these right on the grill right now. So for this dish, we already have our prepared tomatoes, mm -hmm. our prepared green onions, avocado. I throw the lemon on the grill as well. It imparts just another level of flavor. If you're home with the barbecue, you could do the same thing. Absolutely. That's one of the things I've learned. Even with vegetables, throw them on the grill. Yeah. So with that smokiness, what we do here at the restaurant, we make a tangerine salsa. And the last component that we do is the cream part. We have a roasted tomato cream here at the restaurant. I'll put them right. That's what I'm talking about. That little color makes all the difference. Yes. So now we're going to check our fish. Oh, yeah, caramelized yeah. on top. Caramelized on top, and that's really what the aioli helps impart to, and it's also gonna impart some flavor as well. So here we have our fish, and now we are going to build our taco. Our roasted tomato cream, we roast the tomatoes, mix it with a little sour cream, and now we're gonna fill the taco with this wonderful smoked fish. All right, our next step on the process is going to be just adding a little bit of cabbage. This is what I'm dying to taste. Yes. We have our tangerine. Tangerine salsa, tomatoes, our green onions, and the grilled onion. I mean the grilled lemon. We can always add avocado as well. Okay, Chris, I gotta try this. Yeah, you got it. Mmm. Does that work out? That is delicious. I've had lots of fish tacos in my life. That's a totally different taste. Yes. And I like how you just take it up a notch. I mean, it's a healthier fish taco than I'm used to. Right. Because there's no deep frying involved in here. It's just a great, great dish. But not really lacking on the flavor because of those techniques, the smoking technique, the roasting technique, adding the acid brings up the flavor. And that tangerine And the tangerine sauce is just delicious. Yes. That's really good. Thank you very much, man. Well, Dan, pleasure to have you. Thank you. And. Um, Pier 76 Fish Grills, located in Cerritos, right across street from the mall. And your website address? Pier76fishgrill.com. All right, man, thanks again. Likewise. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.